Actually, um, in recent years, Cypress has made a lot of um, acceleration. You've done a lot of um, merge and acquisition, especially for the acquisition of uh, Broadcom's wireless IoT business in 2016 is very important to you. So can you tell us the theory and your thoughts behind this? Yeah, so if you think about, so there's a trend that is happening both in automotive, industrial, and consumer. It's called IoT. Internet of Things, which if you simplify the words, it means connecting everything to the Internet, connecting everything to the cloud, whether it's a car, mm -hmm. smart home, or factory. Everything can be connected. That's right. Mm -hmm. We at Cyprus, before the acquisition, we were very strong in microcontroller. We were in automotive, we were in smart homes, and we were in industrial. So if we want to keep our strength and connect to the internet, the missing piece was connectivity. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth and combo. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, combo. So this was the missing piece. We knew it. Because every customer we have today, we need to get the connectivity in order to be ready for a year from now when the customer says, I want to have my device connected to the internet, we say, yes, here's the solution. Mm -hmm. Because you have to be ready to solve your customer problem before the customer comes to you. As far as we know that Cypress is mainly focused on two areas. One is the automotive or electronics and the other is IoT. So why do you prioritize these two segments? It's a very simple concept, uh, which I have an objective for the company, is I wanted Cypress to grow faster than the semiconductor industry. It's a very simple vision or a very simple objective. But if you translate it to what does this mean? It means we have to participate in markets that are growing faster than all the other markets in electronics. Those two markets are automotive and uh, IoT. So that's how we derived those markets where we said, if we win and we grow in these two markets, the company will grow uh, faster than the general semiconductor. Because both of these are growing double digits. A third of the company was automotive already. We had microcontrollers. We acquired the IoT. So it made it very easy to shift the company and focus on these two segments. And in the last two years, our strategy has been proven that it was the right one. So this year is the 20th anniversary for Cypress entering Chinese market. So what's your roadmap and expectations for this market? Uh, so over the last 20 years or so, it's been an amazing transformation of how the market here evolved. We're no longer talking about manufacturing or no longer talking about, you know, very specific uh, industries. We're talking about a global impact, which is a beautiful thing to see in that short period of time. And I'm very proud that we at Cyprus have been part of this for 20 years, both enabling it by having that technology be here, but more importantly, is helping enable it. So before, technology used to come in. Now there's a lot of technology here, native, that is happening here locally. It's only the first 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just getting started. I think we can do more. We can do more made here. We can do more to enable here. The made in China to enable China is very important. And that to me is, is what technology does. It has no boundary. Uh, people, innovation, ideas all come together on a small board. And that to me is, is what we need to do more of.